Hey, this is the second video in a series of videos that I'm going to make about some of the strange and beautiful spiritual experiences that I've personally had over the course of my life. Uh, many things that I haven't ever shared with you publicly. And like I said in the last video, I think it's time to break the seal on these pretty incredible experiences that I've had. Uh, first, a quick bit of housekeeping. If you didn't already know this, you can find me over here on this other video platform. It's just like YouTube, right? But I've got kind of a little side project going on over here. So just look me up, New World All Star. All Star is one word, A-L-L-S-T-A-R. That's the name of my channel over here as well. And I would invite you to join me so that we can create a world of peace and prosperity for all, or at least for those in the community. I think that's the least that we can do, or the most we can do, perhaps. So, to the story. Again, when I was about four years old, I had my first out-of-body experience. Pretty unusual kind of thing to happen to a four-year-old, I, I think. Pretty young. Uh, to be visited by physical angels. In case you missed my video yesterday, I told that story. And again, that happened when I was about four years old. And they even left me physical proof that I could hang on to for a while. They left me some feathers. And of course, I was indoors when this feather appeared. Just go watch the video. You'll be blown away as, as I still am to this day. So this was an out-of-body experience I had um, also at that period in my life. Pretty unusual for somebody that young, I think. Perhaps I'm being assisted, helped, protected. I, I think that's what appears to be going on. I've got some other stories I'll share with you as time goes on here that lead me to conclude, yeah, I think I might be being helped here. And I often look in the mirror and I wonder, who am I? Like beyond the body, who, who am I before I came down here to earth in this body? And you guys watching who've been on this channel for a while, you may realize that I'm very cautious to speculate on things of that nature. I like to see evidence. And it's not terribly difficult to find evidence for these paranormal experiences that people have sometime, sometimes. And I know I'm not the only one to have these kinds of experiences. And I'm sure by now, many of you are blowing up my comments section of yesterday's video and today's video with your experiences. And I think it's pretty cool because it just goes to show you that there is something more to this thing we call reality than just the physical component. And we are something greater beyond our bodies. So here's the out-of-body experience. I don't know exactly what time it was. I was laying in bed. It was probably 1 or 2 a.m., 1 or 2 in the morning. Pitch black. Dark, right? I awoke, 4 years old. Four years old, and I never wake up in the middle of the night. That never happens, even when I was a kid. Still doesn't. I sleep pretty well. I sleep pretty good. All of the sudden, I realized I couldn't move my body at all. Barely could move my mouth, and that was difficult to even utter any words. 
And that's about all I could do. But at the beginning of this experience, right after I woke up, I wasn't trying to do that. I was just laying there, right? And I realized I couldn't move my body at all. I was completely paralyzed. No lights outside my window or anything like that. And later, you know, the more that I learned about spirituality, the paranormal, metaphysics, I realized it was an out-of-body experience. I didn't know that at the time, though, right? So the body's numb. I can't move. And it's not that I couldn't feel anything, mind you. I guess I wasn't numb, but I couldn't move. I could feel the bed. I could feel pressure. You know, I could feel, but I couldn't move. Interesting. Next thing you know, like, I don't want to say that I blacked out. It's not that I blacked out because blacking out means you're unconscious. That's not it. I was fully conscious. But it's like, you know, I had to close my eyes. I, I couldn't help but close my eyes because I was so scared. But I felt my consciousness like expanding. If that's the best way that I can describe it. I felt like I was becoming larger and expanding and filling out the room. And those of you that have had this kind of experience, you know what I mean. It's like I was moving around the room. And at the same time, I felt this vibration in my body. And I also heard this buzzing sound in my ears. And the sound would like pass by my ears as I was laying there on the bed. You guys ever play those old Atari video games? Do any of you remember Atari? I used to have one. And you're playing, you know, asteroids or something, and your spaceship travels from the bottom of the screen and moves up the screen and then disappears out the top of the screen and then reappears out the bottom of the screen. And it keeps doing that, right? You guys know what I mean, right? That's kind of what the buzzing sound was doing as it was passing by my ears like that kind of thing, the sound. And my body was vibrating and buzzing too. And again, I didn't realize it at the time. How could I? I was, I was only four. But this was an out-of-body experience. You feel these vibrational sensations, and you might even hear them, because your consciousness is shifting frequency, if, if that's the right terminology. You're, you're leaving your body, so your consciousness is like changing the channel, and you can feel the buzzing of this frequency change, this frequency shift. It's like your consciousness is detaching from your body, so you feel the vibration of that. And I could even hear it when I was a kid having this experience. Now, this experience was not long-lasting because... It was very scary at the time. You know, I was a little kid. And as young as I was, I just somehow intuitively knew, right? Just this knowing that it's being done to me or for me, perhaps, is the right word, being done for me. And someone or something was doing it to me. So, because I was terrified, I basically begged for it to stop. And this is the part where I started to move my mouth, and I could barely move my mouth. It took all of my might to just barely move my mouth and utter the word stop. 
just stop, stop, right? And it took all the effort that I had to do that. Now, as soon as I did that, it stopped. And that was it. Now, I had another out-of-body experience when I was about 20 or 21 that I'll tell you about in a later video. But this one is pretty earth-shattering, I think. For a four-year-old kid to have an experience like that, how about that? So there you go. There's the second installment in uh, my video series here about these interesting experiences that I've had. Go check out the one from yesterday, too, about seeing the angel and the feather. Um, pretty interesting story. Pretty interesting. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to the next video next week. Have a great week, guys. See you later.